Okay, so I, I always say that life is a journey. So we are all on a pilgrimage. And you see how our vehicles, we use our vehicles to move from one area to the other. You need to see your body as the vehicle taking you through this journey called life. You know, and this life is not a dress rehearsal for another life. This is it. We have just one body. This is the only body you would have. So it is important for us to take care of it. If you don't take care of it, who will take care of it for you? All right. So, I mean, if, if, if you see how, you know how sometimes you're driving and you see someone's car, the car looks so neat, so clean. It's because the owner is taking care of it, you know? So it is important for us to take care of our body by taking care of it got to feed it well so it is important to see food as fuel because if your body is your vehicle then you got to give it fuel so you need to ask yourself this meal I'm having is this fuel to my body it is important to ask yourself that question every day when you spend a few seconds to question yourself if the food is fuel a lot of times you realize that you will drop some of the chunks that we often take a lot of times we take them mindlessly, you know, because we are stressed out, because uh, we're having a bad day, and we turn to resort to these junk meals. So please, let's take care of our body. It is important for us to exercise. I cannot overemphasize the importance of exercise. It's often said that exercise adds years to your life. And it doesn't just add years to your life, it adds life to your years. You will feel younger, you will feel more energetic, you will feel more productive. Welcome friends to The Entrepreneur Speaks. I'm your host, Kofi Anumedu. Each week, I host an amazing entrepreneur on their journey, successes and challenges. It is my hope that we'll learn from their experiences as we all work towards living a life of passion and purpose. We are talking fitness today on the Entrepreneur Speaks podcast. My name is Kofi Animedu. My guest, Tracy Sena Yeboah, left her career in banking to establish the new you fitness. She shares her journey today on my show. Welcome to my show, Tracy. Thank you, Kofi. Thank you for having me. All right, then, let's get to know you some more. So who is Tracy Sena Yeboa and how was growing up like? All right, so Tracy Sena Yeboa is a mother of three. I am married to an amazing gentleman, Mr. Gofi Ben Yeboa. And growing up, it was quite interesting. I come from a family of five very funny, amazing, supportive women. And it was, it was, it was fun because it felt like um, we're living in a girls' hostel. <laughs> <laughs> we're teasing each other i mean supporting each other as much as we could and what's interesting about my family is that um, it was an obese family so i mean there's this very popular program um, it was on tv it's called meet the packers so when mm -hmm. you have a picture of me the packers then you know what my family looks like but it was mm. really fun growing up um, with them and it it took a lot for me to to start being disciplined in terms of how I was eating and all that because I realized that all oh, my big sisters <laughs> were all obese and I made a decision that I was not going to look like them. So I ended up being the only slim one among my sisters, which was really funny because your friends come to visit and you're like, that's not your sister, right? Then you're like, oh, that's our sister. <laughs> and it actually felt good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I studied uh, math and computer science at the University of Ghana. And then I did mm, a master's. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But that was hard, man. I must tell you the truth. <laughs> it was so, so, so hard. But I mean, I was just um, determined to put in my very best. And then I went ahead and I did a master's in finance at Coventry okay. University. And I started okay. my career working for um, the former AMA Bank, now okay. Amalgamated Bank. And, okay. um, I mean, sorry, now Bank of Africa. Oh, okay. Yes. And I went to work with um, Zenit Bank. So I, I was working with Zenit Bank for nine and a half years. And I resigned mm -hmm. um, a few months ago to do TNU full time. Wow. 
um, considering your background and working in the bank, that's a dream job for most ladies. So what really moved you to move from a bank to set up your own fitness firm? Okay, that's all right. What, what, what really moved you to do that, to take that decision? Working in Zenit was exciting. I remember when I tell my friends that I've resigned, they're like, how? Who resigns from Zenit? That's my dream job. The truth was that it was it was really awesome. I totally enjoyed my nine and a half years of working there. I was working in the IT department for five years, and then I moved to marketing. And, okay. you know, along the line, I discovered the new me. You know, TNU is actually what I, I do full time now. And I started it as, um, after the birth of my first child, I was frustrated because I was still looking pregnant, even though the baby was like, like five months, I, I, I still look really, really huge. And I wasn't happy with how I was looking. So I made a decision that I was going to change the way I looked. So I got back in shape and I went back to work and so many of my friends wanted me to help them. They're like, Hey, what secret formula have you found? help us to, to, to look as you're looking. And I said, why not? So I started helping them. So this was something I was doing alongside my, my banking career. You know, oh, okay. I, was, I was helping my, my friends. It actually started with my colleagues in the office. I was helping them. So I was doing this on the side and I did it for about five years, you know? So, I mean, making the decision, taking that decision, I would not say it was easy, it was it was one of the most difficult decisions that I had to take in my life because um, because of the fear of the unknown, I wasn't too sure. And, you know, in, in COVID, I actually made that decision. I missed COVID. You know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, Tracy, why don't you wait? Because this COVID is unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna happen." And I mean, I missed COVID. I was able to get the boldness to say, "No, this is what I want to do." And it's because I've reached a point in my life where I think I have found my calling. You know, for a very long time, I kept I kept praying, oh, I want to know my purpose in life. I want to know what I'm supposed to do on this earth. And this is me strongly believing that every single person here was born on purpose for a purpose. So I think I have found it. And I'm like, hey, if I have found it, there's no need for me to spend um, a day of my life doing something that I felt I wasn't sure of. So this was me saying that I found what I want to do with my life what I want to do with the rest of my life. So this is it, to help women, to help as many, many women as possible to, to embark on a healthy lifestyle. So this was why it was easy for me to say goodbye to my amazing job. Oh, okay. Um, we'll come back to this because I believe there's still a lot of people who also have found their purpose, but then are scared of the unknown. So they are not able to take that bold decision like you took to step out. But we'll come to this again. Yes, please. Now let's get to let's get to meet your firm, CNU Fitness. The yes, new please. you fitness. That's it. Yes, that's it. The new you. The new you. All right. Yes, so tell please. us about the new you. What services do you offer? And yeah, tell us about the new you. Okay, all right. So TNU is the new you. And the reason why it's the new you is because our focus is not just to make women slim because you realize that a lot of people are slim but are not healthy. So the, mm. the, the mission of TNU is to inspire women to unveil the best versions of themselves. And, okay. you know, I, I say this so passionately because, you know, after the birth of my child, I was... I mean, I felt depressed at a point. I was excited to have a baby, but at a point I was not happy with the way I looked. When I stepped out, I, I was not confident. I hated how my tummy looked, you know, my dresses, no matter how pretty the dresses looked. So when I made that decision that I wanted to transform my looks, what happened was that I didn't just transform my looks, I transformed my entire life. My mindset was changed. It made me a happier person wife it made me a happier mom you know so i mean this is just me discovering myself as a result of the process and i i, I purpose in my heart that i was going to inspire other women to do the same so t and you is just is just i mean our, our goal is to inspire as many women to know that it is possible because you see a lot of people give up on themselves they get stuck in a body that they don't like and as a result they feel that that is it you know 
that, I mean, a lot of people have created glass ceiling for themselves, sometimes as a result of how they look, as a result of how they think about, about their lives. So TNU is just the environment to let women know that it is possible. You know, we are limitless in, in every area of our lives. So we, we, by the grace of God, we actually started with about just 10 ladies in 2015. And as we speak, I mean, we are, we are quite, we are over 300 in seven different countries. Wow. So yes. And, and, and the beauty of the program is that we are inspiring each other because we believe that together we can support each other. You see, it's hard. It's, it's, yes, it's, it's exciting to say that, oh, I want to live a healthy lifestyle, but truly, 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 it is hard. Okay. When you have to do it by yourself, sometimes you just want to give up. So, uh, family has created a supportive supportive virtual community of women, different races, different countries, and everything we are doing is that we are telling each other we can do it. Sometimes we fall, we get up. We fall, we get up. But we are pushing each other, we are supporting each other every step of the healthy lifestyle journey. Okay, so when you talk about helping each other on the healthy lifestyle journey, how is your services or program structured? Can you walk us through how Absolutely. it's Absolutely. Yes, please. So the, the first the first angle of the program is the healthy eating, okay? Because we believe that you are what you eat, okay? So we try to, to model healthy eating for our women. You know, there are so many fat diets out there. I mean, there are so many quick fixes and a lot of people are eating indiscriminately. A lot of people are starving themselves all as a result of not being happy with the way they look, but we believe that we want healthy eating should be something we do for the rest of our lives. It's not just something you do because you want to look great in a dress or you want to have a photo shoot. So you want to lose some inches of your waist. So we, we teach our women how to eat healthy. So we teach them how to, I mean, the healthy breakfast to have the snacks, the lunch, the dinners, you know, so we, so the healthy eating component is the first side of the program. And then we have the exercise. Yes, exercise. A lot of people don't even want to hear it. <laughs> actually, meet uh -huh. people, actually meet people who say that, hey, I have not exercised in 10 years. <laughs> so a lot of people wow. don't even want to hear it. But the truth is that we need to exercise, you know. So we try to do it in a fun way. And that's the beauty of TNU. We know making these choices are hard, but we try to let we try to let it fit into your daily lifestyle. So no matter how busy you are, we we find a workout that can work for you. Okay. And it's not um it's not one, it's not cast in stone. So we have varied workout. There's walk, there's dance, there's aerobics. I mean, different, different exercises just to make sure that every single person, no matter your shadow, no matter your body type, no matter your age, it will fit in your shadow and then your, your, your peculiar condition. And then there is the side about mindset. Yes. Mindset chain. Cause we believe okay. that as a man think it, so is he. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, what are you thinking of? A lot of us, we've created limiting beliefs for ourselves. And that is the reason why it's holding us back from achieving what we want to achieve with our lives. So, I mean, our passion, and it's one of the things that I, I do very passionately. I mean, I can't even overemphasize it because <laughs> I believe that so many people have created this, this glass ceiling for themselves. So we've created an environment to let women know that we are limitless. Yes. So our tagline is we are limitless. All right. So we, we've created the mindset portion where our women begin to change their minds because we have people who say that, oh, Tracy, for me, I cannot go a week without a bottle of alcohol or, oh, I cannot go I cannot go without rice, without fufu, without, I mean, all the high calorie foods. We don't say that don't eat them. But what we are saying is that it's a portion control and the times that you eat them. The same people who say that, oh, I cannot do this. I cannot do that. cannot do that. Just a few days into the program, they're like, hey, Tracy, my mindset is changing. Suddenly I can actually go months without the alcohol. It's like, I don't even need it again. So you realize that a lot of things is, is the mindset. It's what you're thinking about. That is what determines the kind of actions and your daily habits. So we try to work on the, the, the mindset as well. And the last part of the program is the support. 
Yes. We have a supportive environment because you see, sometimes a lot of people, they don't even have people to speak with, like the right people to, to, to share their worries with. And it, it's interesting. Some people will say that, Oh, I weigh physically, I weigh about say 100 kg or maybe say 200 pounds. But emotional weight, the emotional weight that a lot of people carry about far outweighs their physical weight. So we recognize that a lot of people need emotional support. So we have this beautiful, beautiful program called the Pink Room Diaries. And it's an avenue where you can send your questions, your worries, your concern anonymously. And you would have a resource person to give you the support that you need. And it's amazing. I mean, the women in TNU, they happily share. I mean, they share their stories to encourage each other. All right. So, I mean, in, in summary, this is the beautiful family we've created, a family that support our women to eat healthy, to exercise frequently, to, to change their mindset, to believe that they are limitless, and then also to have an avenue for them to vent to just lay off all the emotional weight that is weighing them down. All right. So, so, so that's it. I mean, in terms of what we do in TNU. Okay. All right. Then it, it, it sounds like a very interesting community to be part of. It's amazing, Kofi. It's so amazing. You will totally love it, but too bad. It's just women for now. <laughs> in your submission, you kept on saying, I will are women. So it's strictly limited to women. Are there plans of introducing men later on or or you want to keep it a ladies' club? Okay, all right. So I mean, yes, a lot of men hate hate us for this. <laughs> they keep saying, I mean, like I've had some of the, 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 the husbands of the wives in TNU who say that Tracy, this is not fair. My wife is looking too amazing. She's looking too alluring, and here I am looking like the father, you know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I mean, the men hate us for this, but you see, the truth of the matter is that we choose to, to concentrate on women for now. It's not because we are discriminatory towards the men. It is because you see in most homes, okay, the women are the ones who make the decisions on the groceries, they make the decisions on the amount of salt to put in food, the amount of sugar to put in the beverages of their, of their kids, of their partners. So we believe that, look, if we, if we are able to change the mindset of these women, these women can actually get their partners to start eating healthy. These women can get their partners to become active. These women can get their children to start being physically active. And look, I can, I can say this confidently that a lot of the TNU women have been able to impact their families to, to embark on this healthy lifestyle. Like just today, I got a, a very beautiful video from one of the TNU ladies sharing about, I mean, a video about her kids working out and some of the kids, like they actually say that, look, mommy, even if they want to take a break, they're like, Hey, mommy, it's exercise time. You need to exercise. And some of the women say that, Hey, now my husband will not let me step out without him. He keeps saying that, Hey, don't go jogging alone. I'm coming with you. I don't want to be the one looking old in this house. Okay. So this is the reason why we are very passionate about changing the mi mindset of women. Cause we believe that that's the first place. Once it's done, a lot more people would be able to live a healthier lifestyle because these women will now become role models for their friends and their partners and the entire family. Very interesting. Now let's get to see how the journey has been. So you left a successful banking career. You set up this not knowing what the future really held for you. How has the journey really been like? Okay, so the journey has been, it's been very interesting. To be honest, when I when I started TNU in 2015, yes, I knew that this was something that could, could um, affect a lot of lives, like impact lives, but I had no idea that it could reach, I mean, outside of Ghana, honestly, like, 
I mean, initially it was just, it was just my friends. Like it started with my, my colleague in the office. <laughs> so I was doing it as a hobby, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and I was, I was excited seeing the changes. And then, I mean, they coming back to say that Tracy, I've lost five kg. I'm excited. I've lost 12 kg. I'm excited. So it was just a hobby for a very long time. But I mean, over the course of the period, I realized that I was impacting lives. I mean, some of the testimonials I get, like not a single day goes without me receiving a testimonial from a TNU queen saying how the journey has has improved her her life. I mean, her her role as the mother, as a wife. And the testimonials honestly are overwhelming. And it's mm-hmm. it just it just goes to to say that this is something that can transform the world. I mean, the new you journey, we actually call it a movement. It's something that can transform the entire world because we've reached a point where it's not just about us because we realize that a lot more women out there, a lot, of pe- a lot of people are depressed because of how they look, because of how they feel. So it's it's been a great journey. It's It's not been easy. I must be quick to say that. I mean, there were times that, I mean, in 2018, for instance, I wanted to give up. You know how, because it was a hobby for me, you know, and you know how sometimes you do a hobby and it's like you're losing interest in the hobby, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, so it was, it was a hobby for a very long time. But I mean, at the point when I was, when I was losing interest, I mean, well, it was as a result of a second pregnancy that didn't go too well. It was a complicated pregnancy and it was just me still managing the whole TNU, me alone trying to just save the world. How how silly that sounds, but hey, that was me. I didn't have anyone that I was working with. It was just one one woman manager. <laughs> so I wanted to give up because I was overwhelmed. I could not uh, manage the the ladies that were on the program. And you see, the the interesting thing about the program is that it's it's a family. So even when I wanted to give up, the ladies were like, hey, girl, you we will not let you give up. <laughs> Any support that we can give you, we are going to give you. All right. So, I mean, one of the queens, we actually call ourselves queens. So one of the queens was like, hey, I'm going to support you, whatever help you need. So, I mean, she stepped in and she started helping me. I mean, she started helping me, started supporting me. So it wasn't an easy journey, but honestly, it's, it's, it's been incredible. It's been life changing. And it's as a result of the support from the TNU family. The TNU women have supported me every step of the way. Their encouragement, I mean, has, has been, has been tremendous. And this is why the journey has been so fulfilling for me. All right, then. So 21 guns salute to the TNU lady. Yes, Please. yes. Awesome Friends women of- there. <laughs> to Tracy and we appreciate that. So Tracy, how has you've talked about the journey, but like any other journey, there are challenges and there are lessons you pick up. Let's let's look at some of the challenges you've encountered so far on this fitness journey, on this TNU journey. Can you share some challenges with us? Yes please. So the the first challenge is you know um you know, I mentioned in my in my last submission that I was working alone. I did not have a team. Okay, so yeah. I mean, so that was like the first mistake I did as an entrepreneur. You know, so not having a team, it's it's bad because you see, it's you can be it it, it it's overwhelming. Honestly, it's totally overwhelming when you try to run your 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 organization or your or your enterprise all by yourself. So that was the first challenge. I didn't have a team, but I mean, now by the grace of God, we are a team of 10 who are on this, on this journey, trying to inspire as many women as possible to live a healthy lifestyle. So, I mean, and the second challenge was, you know, trying to help um, people change their lifestyle. It's hard, you know, cause you see some people for some reasons, I mean, imagine someone signs up they pay for a subscription, then you're trying to give them the support. They actually get upset that you're checking up on them too frequently. They get upset no. that, oh yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, I mean, and for some reason, it's like, I just can't give up on people. Like, 
I, I just can't give up. So even when they're giving up on themselves, I just can't give up. Okay. I just yeah. can't give up on them. I keep telling them, I'm like, Hey, I know you want to give up. Sometimes you're like, Tracy, you know what? I signed up for this, but you know, I don't want it again, but I'm like, Hey girl, I know you need it. So I'm not going to give up on you. So, <laughs> yeah. so I mean, the challenge was trying to help people. It's hard, but um, it, it depends on what you want to achieve. For, 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 for T and you, like the goal is not just to have people sign up and that's it. No, that has never been the goal. The goal is to transform their lives. That is the goal. That every single woman who encounters T and you will be totally transformed, not just physically, mentally, in every facet of their lives. We want them to see change. And this is why it's called the new you. So helping people it's hard. Supporting people is hard, but you got to be strong. You got to be like, you have to reach a point where you have like tough skin. <laughs> you just need to be focused. Even when people, you know what they need. Even when they say, you know what, I'm not even sure about this, but you know what they need to, whatever support you need to give them, you have to do it. So the first challenge was um, the, 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 the team, not having the team. And then the, the major challenge is actually getting the women to change that mindset. It, it was a very, very, very difficult thing. But I mean, by the grace of God, I am I'm happy to say that now it's become easier and um, the impact is, is, is more. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing this with us. Um, just as there's been challenges on this journey, I believe there's been a lot of lessons you've also picked up. Can you please share some of these lessons with my listeners? Absolutely. Okay. So the first lesson is that don't ever give up. Don't mm. ever, ever give up. Look, life is tough. I mean, life throws things at you. Sometimes you, you, you don't even see it coming, you know, but you should never, ever, ever give up. You know, and I'm, I'll give you um, an example. So every year we organize a program called Healthastic. So last year it was, it was, um, the venue was Aqua Safari and the planning okay. team. We actually had a planning team. We worked for several months on it. I mean, we've like, we've had sleepless nine trying to work on it, trying to make sure that like there are no hitches when the program happens. Like we, we did everything that we could, but guess what? On the day of the program, a journey of two and a half hours. And along the line, we realized that the traffic was, was taken forever. We even wow. called, I mean, by the grace of God, we, we had a police escort. With the police escort, we got to um, Aqua Safari after 14 hours, a journey of wow. two and a half hours. It took wow. us over 14 hours to get to Aqua Safari. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was, I can't, now I'm, I'm, I'm actually saying it and laughing, but I cried. I cried because all the dream, all the goal, all the plans we had, like, I mean, like we, 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 we planned everything so perfectly and we could not execute it. But this is life. You plan things and they don't happen the way you expect it to. But it doesn't mean that you should give up. You keep moving. So I keep saying that, look, no matter what life throws your way and life is going to throw things at you, you can't even see them happening. Like it's, it's so, it's painful, you know, but you should never, ever give up because every experience makes you a better version of yourself. So I always ask myself that, Hey, this bad thing that has happened, what am I learning from it? Cause I believe that look, sometimes life teaches us lessons. What other way can we learn lessons except to the bad experiences. So, I mean, the bad experiences for me are lessons. It's like classroom for me. This is life taking me through a classroom, taking me through a degree program that I never signed up for. So no matter how tough life gets, no matter what life throws your way, you may never know what it is. I mean, one of my favorite um, inspirational speakers, Liz Brown, he said that, look, in life, you're either getting into um, one, one, one wahala or trouble, or you're just about to execute, I mean, leave one or you're about to, I mean, or you are just in one currently. Okay. So at every point in time, you realize that life is throwing things your way. So never, ever give up. Cause I mean, I could have given up 
in on TNU in 2018, but I'm really, really thankful to God that I never did because now I'm really, really excited about the trajectory of TNU. So, and it's all because I, I decided that I was never going to give up no matter how tough life got. So the lesson is never give up no matter how tough life gets. Never give up. And that's the key word from our guest, Pacey Senna Yabua of TNU Fitness, the new you fitness. Yes. Never give up. Casey, um, you are a well-educated lady, a mother of three. Everything seems to be working out for you. You were working in a bank. You were making the money. You decided to follow your passion and establish something you've always wanted to. I'm sure there are a lot of my listeners who are also planning on taking that bold step. That step to set up something they've always dreamt of doing. But one way or the other, they are scared. Scared of the unknown. Scared of the criticism. Scared of, of, of failing, of failure. I want you to speak to such people right now. Talk to them. Encourage them not to give up. Talk to them right now. Okay. All right. So the truth is that to make a decision to say goodbye to your nine to five job, it's not an easy decision. Honestly, it's it's not an easy decision. But um, what really helps is when you know, you know, deep down in your heart that you found something you're passionate about. I mean, for me, making a decision was hard because you see, um, uh, you know, in, in the bank. So that's one of the good things about working in the bank. It's like every two months, you actually have one allowance coming in or the other. So making a decision, for instance, for me, I wasn't too sure which month to resign. I was like, okay, do I resign this month? Do I wait till the next allowance? Do I wait till the next allowance? And after the next allowance, another under allowance is coming. So at every point in time, there is something coming. <laughs> But you need to make a decision. So one day I asked myself that I asked myself one day, Tracy, would you still do tea and you if you were not getting any financial rewards for it? And the answer was yes, I will still do tea and you, even if I don't get financial rewards. When I said yes, that was when I knew it was time for me to resign. You see, in life, it's not just about money. You see, when you follow money, 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 like you will never get to a point where you have like enough money. Like it's never enough. You set a goal for X amount of money. Oh, I want to have X amount of money in my bank. Once you have it, you will want to have X, X, X times two. You know, so at every point in time, you would always want to have more. But you see, the question is, because you see, deep down inside of every one of us, we all want to live a fulfilled life. It's not about the amount of money you have in your account. It's not about where you work. It's about at every point in your life, are you living a life that you feel very fulfilled? Okay, so I realized that, look, it's about feeling fulfilled. Because, I mean, deep down inside of me, I realized it's not just about making money to pay some of the bills at home, to 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 raise my, my beautiful kids, to, to manage my home. I realized that there, there has to be more you know, there has to be more. So you need to ask yourself, is there more to your life? Is there more you can do? I, I mean, beyond just, just being, say, a mother, just being a caretaker, just being a father, beyond just being an employee, even an employer, is there more? I mean, could you do more? Could you impact more lives? I mean, when we start asking ourselves these questions, it makes it easier to make some decisions, okay? I mean, financial returns alone can can mislead you but i mean beyond financial rewards what is bringing you the most fulfillment what is the thing that you can do even if you don't get paid for it you know what is the thing that can make you feel like you're also playing a role in this world because i truly believe that every single one of us here we are all born on purpose for a purpose there is a role for every single one of us here and if, if all you can do is to like spend the rest of of this year this month just trying to connect with that inner 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 calling of yours it's it's, it's an exercise that is worth taking and once you find it hey hey don't be afraid yes the fear of the unknown is there but don't be afraid i mean a wise man said feel the fear but do it anyway. So don't be afraid. Just do it. 
Just do it. Just do it. Um, we are we find ourselves um in this new era where we are confronted with COVID nineteen. Has it affected your operations in any way? And if it has, how has it affected you? Okay, so I would actually say that COVID has affected our operations very positively. You know, we, oh, okay. we, we started out as an online community. So five years ago, we, we, we started out as an online community. And you know how our people are, <laughs> by our people, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody yeah. still wants a break and mortar place where they can actually yeah. go, where they can see a trainer in front of them. Then they work mm -hmm. out. You know, but we started out letting people know that, look, it doesn't matter your geographical location. It doesn't matter your peculiar condition. You can get back in shape right at the comfort of your home. OK, so it wasn't it wasn't a culture that was embraced fully because a lot of people still say, oh, no, I want to see your gym. I want to cut me you. But with COVID, a lot of people were home. I mean, eating indiscriminately. People were stressed and and. They needed someone to rescue them. And guess what? TNU was here. We've always been here, virtual. So COVID has actually, I, I mean, created a platform where now a lot of people have embraced virtual, healthy lifestyle. So yes, COVID has actually um, helped to promote TNU. Excellent. I'm sure a lot of the lovely ladies listening to our interview today are excited about this journey, are excited about being a part of this community. Now, I want you to talk to them. Talk to those who want to be a part of your community. How does one enroll? Walk them through the process. Talk to the will-be PNU queen. Okay. So the first thing I want to say is that, hey, uh, you need to get in touch with TNU ASAP. And the reason is because, you see, as women, it's hard. I mean, juggling our roles as caregivers, as caretakers, I, I keep saying that women, we give, 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 give. And a lot of times we actually running low. We are running low because we are just givers. And a lot of times we get so drowned in all our roles as, as mothers, as wives, as business owners, and we forget about health and wellness. So... TNU is here to give us that supportive environment to let you know that, look, no matter how busy your schedule is, no matter how stressed you feel, there is a community of, of like-minded women who would cheer you up, who would support you, who would tease you. We are like a family, okay? So, I mean, if, if, if you want this kind of support, it's hard doing it by yourself. It is hard, trust me. It is hard. But when you have a supportive environment, you know how negativity is contagious? Hey, so is positivity. So you will get, I mean, all these healthy habits that will totally rub off on you. So you can join us via our website, www.tnufitness.com, www.tnufitness.com. Or you can actually say hi to us on WhatsApp or on 020 eight one seven four one seven eight and our beautiful administrator will be more than happy to have you join our beautiful tenu family and for our listeners outside ghana you have to add the country code plus two three three so don't forget that plus two three three now let's spend time talking about the importance of wellness Keeping fit. You've talked about some of this in your submission, but I want you to speak to us. Yes, How please. important is wellness in keeping fit to our whole well being? Okay. Kind of. Yes, please. Okay, so I, I always say that life is a journey. So we are all on a pilgrimage. And you see how our vehicles, we use our vehicles to move from one area to the other. You need to see your body as the vehicle taking you through this journey called life, you know, and this life is not a dress rehearsal for another life. This is it. We have just one body. This is the only body you would have. So it is important for us to take care of it. If you don't take care of it, who will take care of it for you? All right. So, I mean, if, if, if you see how, you know how sometimes you're driving and you see someone's car, the car looks so neat, so clean. It's because the owner is taking care of it, you know? So it is important for us to take care of our body. By taking care of it, 
You got to feed it well. So it is important to see food as fuel because if your body is your vehicle, then you got to give it fuel. So you need to ask yourself, this meal I'm having, is this fuel to my body? It is important to ask yourself that question every day. When you spend a few seconds to question yourself, if the food is full well, a lot of times you realize that you will drop some of the junks that we often take. A lot of times we take them mindlessly, you know, because we are stressed out, because uh, we're having a bad day and we turn to resort to these junk meals. So please, let's take care of our body. It is important for us to exercise. I cannot overemphasize the importance of exercise. It's often said that exercise adds years to your life. And it doesn't just add years to your life. It adds life to your years. You will feel younger. You will feel more energetic. You will feel more productive. I mean, the feeling you get, like your body actually rewards you with endorphins. You will feel so good. You know how they say run is high? You will feel so good. So you see, it's hard. Making the decision to start is the hardest. But I can promise you, once you start, your body will reward you for it. It is important, yes, taking care of our eating, taking care of our exercise, we need to take care of our mental health too. A lot of people are stressed. Stress is killing so many young people. So many people are dying prematurely because of stress. So it is important for us to watch our stress triggers. Stress itself is not an ailment. It is when it's prolonged. That is when it can actually lead to cardiovascular diseases. I mean, a lot of people are battling with, with diabetes, with kidney malfunctions, and it's all as a result of the, these lifestyle choices. So please, 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 please. We have a beautiful life ahead of us. And I know that every single one of us here listening, we have all these amazing goals that we want to achieve. They will not happen by default. I mean, just imagine going through all the stress, you're working out. I mean, you're, 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 you're working nine to five every day. Like you're literally breaking your back. Now you get all the money in the world. And the doctor tells you that you have just three months more to, to live on this earth. Or the doctor tells you, hey, you can't have sugar again because you're diabetic. Or hey, you can't have salt again because your kidneys are failing. We don't want that. So it is important for us to be responsible. Let's take proactive. Let's be proactive. Let's take the decisions now. Let's not wait for a doctor to say that, don't take this, don't take this. Let's eat in moderation. That is the key. Everything in moderation, okay? So that we can enjoy everything for the rest of our lives. Thank you, Tracy. We are just about signing off. Any last words for my listeners? Okay, all right. So, all right. So with my last words, I want to encourage every single one of us here to embark on the healthy lifestyle. You know, it doesn't need to be one hour in the gym. It doesn't need to be, even be 30 minutes. It can just be a walk. It can just be you dancing. It can just be you doing a prayer walk. It can just be you playing music and having fun with the family. Whatever it is, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. No matter how stressful our day was, no matter how bad life hit us, let's make a decision that we're going to move. We're going to move. So let's move. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tracy, for sharing your journey with us, for sharing the new you fitness with us. And listeners, she has challenged us today to live a healthy life. We should adapt healthy lifestyle. And I'll encourage the ladies listening to enroll on the program. And having studied her approach, I can confidently endorse it and tell you that you will enjoy every bit of it. So ladies, get on board. As she said, it's done virtually. You can be, and I know my listeners are everywhere. They are scattered all over the globe. So just send a mail and get on board. Thank you, Tracy, once again for sharing your journey with us. And thank to my you. listeners, and to my listeners, as always, thank you for doing the listening. 
I'll come your way next time with another exciting episode of the Entrepreneur Speaks podcast. I remain your host, Kofi Animedu. Let's continue to keep hope alive. Let's continue to stay safe. Cheers.